I don't like this as much as I thought I would. I think I prefer that. Uh, it's more... Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more matchy with what we've got up here. So I think we're going to go with that. And I can't decide what we're going to do down here. We'll just leave that for now. We won't carry that through. Now, one thing I do want to try and do, though, which could be fun, is uh, find this log and uh, continue that through. I don't know if this floor is going to stay stone. We'll probably turn it into wood or something. Uh, but if we can find this log, yep. Just as a fun interior note, if we carry that through, then this will make a lot of sense. Right to there. And I think it had a button on it. So we'll do that too. Can I reach that from down here? Uh oh, not quite. Oh, there's a slab there. Should be able to grab that. There we go. So I guess could technically have like a small window there. Don't know what that would look like from the other side, but do that. So this is not going to be a used space. It's just more of a for looks. Jared, thank you so much. I'm glad that you like the build. You've been around, I think, since the very beginning. I think this was nothing more than just a, an empty river when uh, we first started hanging out in the stream. If I'm remembering correctly. So yeah, I think, I think I've got the shape the way that I want. It's now just a matter of putting in the texture, but we'll continue the shape through to the other side and we'll fix this, this problem that we have here. Oh, and we'll go from there. Like that. And where's the other one? I wanted to do... Oh, that's already a stone down there. That's good. I feel like... I feel like maybe I want to get rid of this. I know that kind of... kind of breaks the... the edge a bit, but... Yeah, you know what? I think it was better with grass, surprisingly. I think that was better with grass. Something I love about this game is just being able to just, you know, fix stuff on the fly. Uh, we are definitely going to need those shears back, though, because we're going to have to do some of this. Oh, not that. And we'll get in here this way. And up the top here. Oh, come on. Ow. I might be able to make things look pretty in this game, but placing blocks accuracy with OBS and Mac is not a skill I possess. FYI. Okay, so that's all tucked in there. So I think it was Paranor mentioned andesite earlier and we can maybe try to see what that looks like but um I'm, i think we're I'm okay there's so little of it that i think just like having the bush in here is just enough that we don't have to worry too much but i do want to do that and then no i want to do the reverse i want to get rid of that so that those will eventually be grass. Like that. Yeah, again, very, very small. Not too worried about it. Um, and then in here, I'm okay with that grass being there. What's the other side look like? The other side's got like a big, a big of a pile. And that's okay too. Maybe we do this. Just because, do I have any other grass? I feel like I got my green bin open over here. 
I think I missed the wheat bay stream, but I was around uh, at that point in time. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, dear inventory, you are too much. I don't need the soul sand. Where's the nether brick box, nether box, soul sand, nether rack. I've just been using stone to pillar. I really don't care. So that frees up some space. Uh, I can do this with the rockets. Food. Don't think we need these things now. There, that's helpful. Uh, grass. Then maybe, hmm, kind of want to ditch some of this stuff here. We should probably do something like light this up. Where's the edge? I don't know if I lit up the other one. I should probably check that. So I don't like that. We're going to get rid of that. If I do a window here, I'll figure something else out, but this will not be it. I had originally curved the river before I decided to make this thing solid. And so what I want to do is I want to have an asymmetrical flow here. I think maybe, I don't think I want it to be too wide. Maybe I want it to be too wide. Hmm. I'll have to take a look at it from another, another advantage point. But uh, we can just do this. Wow, not that. Oh, Minecraft water. Now let's just take a look to see what one of these would look like if we switched it out for dark oak. What is this? This is spruce. I thought this was... It is a spruce log. Crap. Well... That's annoying. I'll have to go fix that. That's that's part of the door. Oh, it's because those are probably spruce logs, right? Yes. Okay, then. Well, let's see what one of these looks like with a spruce, a spruce log in it. No wonder oak looked stupid. I thought it looked really bright and out of place because the bark wasn't the right color. So what does this look like if we put the spruce log here? I still think it might not look great. We might have to test the other side too. Oh, you know, that might actually look better. That might actually look better. All right, let's see the other side. I do enjoy that these tie in with the dark oak, uh, with the dark oak wharf. But that said, we can always just see what the dark oak wharf looks like if it was spruce. You know what? I think we're going to switch this to spruce. And we're going to switch that these to spruce too. I think that's what it needs. It's a little bit too dark. I'm glad that I went up to check that because I would have forgot that I used spruce. Survey says. Yep. I think we have to switch the whole thing over to spruce.
get rid of these and put there. Yes. Beautiful. I can't wait for lanterns. I just, I just can't wait for lanterns. They're so much nicer looking than torches. Right, that's the other thing that I saw on that um, on that uh, System Z video today was uh, that he replaced a single uh, a single iron bar texture with the chain texture from the lantern. It looks fantastic. Put more sea pickles under the bridge. Ooh. Smart. Paranor is smart. I think that's an excellent idea. We can tuck them right in there. Don't have to do a lot. We'll do like maybe two batches of two for now. Just because I don't want it to be bright, bright. But I want to be able to see what's going on. So maybe... We've already got torches there. So maybe just like there and that's a bush that actually we could just put a light underneath that we could do that too do that there and we'll do that for now and we'll leave it like that just to see what that looks like at night I love sea pickles. They are so handy. We use them to light the uh, melon par farm too. Okay, I think I think that looks pretty done. As far as the shapes, we can uh, I can always come back in and do do texture work. You guys don't want to watch me do that live because that's a lot of up and down, a lot of poking around and stuff like that. So we'll I we will figure out a way to include that. Maybe I'll do like a review or something in the next video. So I know I said I wanted to add something up here, uh, but I don't have time to do that today. Uh, we will do some other things around this area because uh, the, the inn is not quite finished. I still don't know what to do in this room either. I mean, you can kind of come in here and look at this bridge and stuff, but there's not a lot to it. So I don't know what to do there. But uh, I unfortunately am out of time. I need to go grab some dinner. But uh, thank you so much to everybody for hanging out today. Super fun. Really appreciate all the input from the chat. Lots of new follows. Uh, and of course, I have to thank Cosmic Dancer for being a phenomenal supporter of all the stuff that I do. Uh, you are amazing. I really appreciate it. I'm sure we will chat on Discord later. Uh, and thank you also to Paranor for modding in the chat today too. Well, that is going to wrap it up for me today, folks. If you'd like to see more of what I'm doing, you can head on over to joelduggan.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, then you can follow me on Twitch at Joel Duggan as well. Don't forget to link your Discord and your Twitch together because if you happen to be a subscriber on Twitch, then you can join my Discord community. And do check out the Spawn Chunks. It is the podcast that I do where we talk about Minecraft every week. I do that with Pixel Riffs. And uh, we've got a special guest coming on this week. If you were listening to this later, you might have already heard the episode. Uh, but we've got a roundtable this week, and our guest is going to be Logical Geek Boy. You can look him up on YouTube as well. Thank you.